breaking news now in our continuing coverage. From the ocean into the bay, and we've I've even seen homes that have been washed off their foundations and deposited in the water. You go out on the streets here in Rockaway, it looks like this place has been carpet bombed. Uh, and I think this is one of the more outrageous things. The I've people who seen. live here can't believe they're seeing the effects of Sandy so A soon. neighborhood destroyed in a day. In New York's Rockaway Beach, homes and shops went up in flames. Here in Rockaway Beach, it was also a combination of the storm and fire. Neighborhoods in the Rockaways were among the hardest hit during Hurricane Sandy. There are signs of progress. There is a house built out of stars. This is a place where I don't. When people ask me to tell my story concerning Hurricane Sandy, yeah, I'll tell them about my experience escaping fire and trudging through six-foot waters with my family, pets, and neighbors. And being scared as hell, I was about to lose my life or someone else's. But to me, that's not the important part of my story. The best part of my story is about the process of resilience, the rebuilding process. Not even of the houses, but of the people themselves. The neighborhood came together to take single family situations and make them a Rockaway Beach effort to strengthen. Neighbors helped neighbors. Hardships established friendships. Sandy reminded us that we are fighters and we are strong. Sandy put our lives into complete hell for a while, but Rockaway Beach still persevered. But hey, that doesn't surprise me. It's a Rockaway thing. Sandy didn't win. We did.